Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. Last time we built this fantastic, overcomplicated redstone super smelter so that we can easily smelt anything I like in a satisfying way and I just love it. But that wasn't all. I also found the end portal. So today, we're going to take the opportunity that presents us and fight the Ender Dragon. There's a couple of things I need to do to prepare myself for that. I only have 20 arrows. And I could do with a lot more. I might even be tempted to go end raiding afterwards too, so I should probably repair my armour. So let's just craft up a chest plate and leggings. Is this going to be expensive? I can't remember if I've repaired these two yet. Oh, it's cheap! I haven't! Awesome! Only two levels for each. Now for the arrows. There's actually a really easy way to get arrows, and I personally feel like it nullifies the whole infinity versus mending argument. That's right, infinity is completely useless if you already have as many arrows as you could ever want. And all I need is a fletching table, some emeralds, and a villager. Just look at how easy this is. I place down the fletching table, and a villager takes up the job. I said a villager takes up the job. Oh come on, why are they like this? They're being lazy today, apparently. Oh, there we go. We have our Fletcher. And wow, would you just look at that. With minimum effort, I just got three stacks of arrows. Oh my gosh! It just happened again! Another three stacks of arrows! My goodness, people. Nine stacks of arrows in no time at all. I basically have infinity already with this villager, and you guys are worried about running out of arrows? Come on. How bad of a shot are you that you need more arrows than this to actually hit your targets? Mending is clearly better on a bow, but arrows aren't the only thing I need. I also need Eyes of Ender for the end portal, which means Ender Pearls. I can get these from clerics. I just need to level them up a little bit. Ah yes, there we go. I'll have those Ender Pearls, thank you very much. Oh boo, you didn't even get the trade. But I do have too many villagers here, so it's all too easy to get a couple more clerics leveled up. And there we go. We now have more than enough Ender Pearls for the end. 12 to turn into eyes for the portal frame and plenty left over for throwing. I think I actually have some blaze rods still. So I shouldn't need to kill any more blazers. Yup, we have enough. 12 eyes of Ender for the portal. Finally, I'm going to need some moon juice. What's moon juice, you might say? They're low gravity potions that make you feel like you're jumping around on the moon. Very immersive. And completely necessary for the end. The ingredients are nether warts first then phantom membranes, and then a redstone dust to extend the effect. And that should be the moon juice done. Well, I'd say we were more than prepared right now. So let's go kill that dragon. Come on, Carol. It's time we made our way to the end. So here we are. This pillar marks the location of the end portal. So we've merely got to go down. Oh, Carol. Thank you for serving as my noble steed up until now. Oi! Get out of here, you two. You're not invited to the Ender Dragon fight. Not you either, Creeper. I guess I have to dig my way down again because I merely pillared back up out of there last time. We're in. The end awaits us. This is, in my genuine opinion, one of the most satisfying things to do in Minecraft. Lighting the end portal. The sounds are just so good, and the last one sounds so ominous when you put it in. Wait for it. Oh! It's just too good, I love it! <laughs> anyway, no pumpkins for me, and we're in iron armour. Are we in trouble? Maybe. Although I've done this fight armourless before, so we should be fine, right? Let's do this thing. Alright! We've got access to the island right away. I'm glad about that. It always feels so sketchy when the platform spawns you out above the void. The towers await. Hey dragon, how's it going? Eat any good endermen lately? Before I get really into it, I'm just going to put down some water sources in case I look at an enderman. I need somewhere to run to. Oh, uh, that's not an infinite water source. Eh, it'll do. Okay, it's time for the crystals. I should be able to pop these ones through the corners here. Or I would be if I wasn't just shooting straight through the top of the cage. Ah, yeah, there we go. Can I hit any of the other tiles from down here? Oh, those arrows are sailing way too high. It doesn't help that I can barely tell where the top of the obsidian towers are. Oh, she's charging again. But I'm alright. And that's another crystal down. I think I'm going to need to pillar up for the rest of these ones. Just getting an extreme lack of perspective from the ground. I can't tell where the tops of the towers are. Is this high enough? Yes, it is. That's one. That's two. 
Oh, come on, dragon. Did you have to do that? Ah, I couldn't even pull her up out of that. The hits in the moon just, just knocking me off of the pillar. <laughs> I'm going to have to build a new one. Oh, there's a low pillar. I can get that one at least. Just getting myself some dragon's breath while I can. Okay. Hopefully, I can get the rest of the crystals from the top of this pillar. That's one. That's two. Oh. What happened to the fireball just there? Wait, don't question it. Just take the opportunity to stay up here. Okay, that's another one. Oh, is that another fireball? Oh, no fireball again. That's weird. What's going on with me? <laughs> I'm missing the last tower. I can't hit it. <laughs> no, I'm sure I can get it. I just need the dragon to ignore me for a little bit longer. Ah, no, don't do that. Oh, man, I can't stay up there. I've got to pillar her up again. Oh, that's what I thought. But it turns out that I totally nailed that last shot. I just didn't know it yet. No. Dragon, no. You're not knocking me off from here. <laughs> okay, we're up. Oh, it's gone. Am I at the wrong pillar? Oh, I must have landed that last shot without realizing. <laughs> ah, no. I looked at that enderman. Uh, okay, let's Mary Poppins my way down into that puddle. There's a reason I was placing all of that water. Hello, yes, nice to meet you. My name is Whistler. And I am so sorry. I didn't mean to look at your face. But in my defense, I was so far away. How did I even anger you from that distance? <laughs> okay, the crystals are all down now. So it's just me and you now, Dragon. It would help if I could land my shots. Okay, it's time for the sword. Come here, you. Let me at you. Why can't I hit it? Oh, I swear the moon juice was a total mistake. It's just causing issues with the way I jump. Oh, there she goes. And she's eating the Enderman too. Lovely. Okay, let's see if my skills with a bow have returned. Oh, there we go. I'm actually landing my shots now. That's perfect. <laughs> this is going so well. We got a really good amount of damage in there. Let's see if we can finish the job on this perch. Okay, not much longer now. I think this is going to be it. No, she's totally going to fly off again, isn't she? Or maybe not. Oh, I think I've done it. I only need one hit. Yes, let's go! High five, everyone! She's dead, I killed her! Wow. <laughs> that was really quick. I think the dragon only managed to perch twice once I destroyed the crystals. I don't think I've ever killed her that quickly before. <laughs> I think it's usually been three times in the past. My skills as a Minecrafter must have clearly improved. But we're now sitting at 89 levels. That's a lot. Nice! Let's grab that dragon egg. Oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, my inventory's full. Just throw that out. And sweet. The next generation. So we've just successfully killed the end dragon and claimed her egg as our prize. We've done well today. Now, where's the gateway portal that should have spawned? We did get one, right? Ah, there it is. Is that over the island? Please tell me it's over the island. I hate it when it's over the void. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that is over the island. All is well. So I guess we go back home and get rid of some of the stuff before we go end raiding. Oh, hey, would you look at that? We just beat Minecraft. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I don't have a bed in this world, so I've come back into the overworld and I'm all the way back at spawn. Oh, man. I've got a bit of a trek ahead of me. <laughs> and so our hero Whistler emerged victorious from the end and made his journey back to Cherryville with tales of adventure and glory. The Ender Dragon had been slain. The villagers would never believe his stories. After all, how could they even imagine going to a dimension they've never seen? But they would enjoy them nevertheless. And little did they know that Whistler was just getting started. Oh, for goodness sake. I've been welcomed back home by phantoms. My insomnia is a plague. Well, I've got news for you, phantoms. You've got nothing on the Ender Dragon. So we're back home. And I've just realized something. I didn't designate a chest for end stuff when I built this storage room, did I? Well, I guess I'm just going to have to steal one of these sand chests. I do have a lot of them. That one will do. Oh, Carol is still at the portal. I can't have that. Let's go get that girl back in Cherryville. Hi, Carol. This must be a shock. I've come from a different direction than that which I left. And we're being attacked by phantoms. This is quite the shocking scenario, isn't it? <laughs> well, Carol, I have to tell you that we were successful. We beat the Ender Dragon. <laughs> 
So let's get you back home again, shall we? So, the seed for this world. I've said before that I will reveal it once the Ender Dragon has been slain, and now that that's over and done with, I think it's high time that we reveal it. Just as soon as these phantoms stop bothering me. <laughs> so I did in fact input a seed for this world. And I'll be honest, if you know anything about me, it was a tad predictable. Hey, even the chat agrees. <laughs> I mean, it is so predictable. Do you all know how the seed for Season 1 was simply Whistler's World? Well, do I have news for you, drum roll please! The seed for Minecraft Hardcore Season 2 is... Rudely interrupted by phantoms. I can't ever catch a break. <laughs> Just give me a sec everyone, I'll get rid of the pests. The seed for Hardcore Season 2 is... Whistler's World 2.0! <laughs> I did say that it was brute forcible if someone happened to try. <laughs> Oh, I'm so imaginative. Great seed naming there from me. Anyway, be careful with what you expect when you put that seed into the world generator, because when I first started this world in 1.14 and then updated from there, and the world generation has had a huge overhaul since then, so things will be rather funky and very different depending on which version you first load up. It's just a word of warning. Ah, the phantoms have invaded once again. These guys will never leave me alone, will they? <laughs> Pestering me must be what they live for. <laughs> anyway, I need a bed. No, not to sleep in. Mind your manners. Don't suggest such a horrible thing. We don't sleep in this world. No, I need to set my spawn so I don't end up all the way back at the spawn chunks when I come back from the end again. <laughs> and I'd quite like an orange bed for this. So let's share the sheep and hope we get enough. One wool? Sheep, are you serious? Oh, look at this guy. He's such a troll. He knows exactly how to pull on my leg. Do we have any spare orange up here? We've got one block. Okay, I just need one more. Oh, I've got beds in here already. Ah, no, sorry. I've already committed myself to making an orange one. And this sheep still hasn't eaten the grass. Come on, dude. Why won't you eat? Oh, finally. <laughs> I can make an orange bed now. We'll just put that in front of the window for now. And there we go. We have a spawn point now. Now, I am a little worried that that's counted as sleeping. Has that reset my statistics? Oh, awesome. Time slept in a bed is still zero, and time since last rest still matches time played. Everything's still okay. I've got to be careful around beds like this. You never know if an accidental kick might ruin something like that. But anyway, it's time we go end raiding. Let's go get ourselves that elytra. Oh nice, the dragon's killed some of the endermen. I won't say no to free ender pearls. Just going to make myself a nice little platform up here. Okay, here we go. Please give me a good spawn. Please give me a good spawn. I'm going to drink the moon juice just in case. Oh, I missed. Let's try that again. Ah, we're in. Oh, it took a second to teleport me there. <laughs> I thought something had gone wrong. Okay, is there an end city here? Nope. I don't want to bridge over to the island just there, so let's use a pearl, preferably without looking at all of the endermen. Awesome. We made it across. So I think I saw another gateway portal just here, so that could be handy. Oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> oh, and it's got a ship too. Sweet. Oh, I'm glad that didn't take too long. Finding that first city can be really difficult sometimes. Okay, so, big issue. That end island is quite a distance away. I think I've got to bridge over the void. <laughs> That's all right, though. I brought blocks, and I can even make slabs out of them. I don't know how many I'll need, but we'll see where this gets us for now. Here we go. Can you smell the sweat beginning to pour out of my skin? Can you hear it dripping? Okay, I'm not joking this time. This is actually terrifying. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. This is awful. I feel sick just seeing nothing but void beneath me. What's a guy got to do just to get a pair of wings? Ah, just get me through this quickly, please. I can do this. I have faith in my ability to remain crouched. I am a well-trained croucher. I can sneak my way from one island to another, but... Oh, come on. Ah... But I hate it so much, and I've still got so far. <laughs> oh, and my moon juice is running out. I've got to drink another. I don't believe this. I've actually run out of slabs. I knew the end island was far away, but I didn't think it was that far away. We're going to have to craft some more in the void. Oh, boy. I think we're going to start doing this at a diagonal now. It's closer, but I still hate it. I can't. I can't. Oh! End Island! We're almost there. Almost there. 
Yes, we made it across. Thank goodness for that. Hey, Shulkers, guess who's here? I'm back. You thought you'd be safe after I lost that first world? Well, you thought wrong. So what's my plan of action going to be here? Should I just go straight for the elytra? Oh gosh, no, I didn't mean to look at you. No, 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 uh, okay. <laughs> um, think, how do I get rid of this enderman? I'm only in iron armor. Okay, my water bucket's in my inventory. I don't know if I have time to get it out. Um, let's try an enderpearl. Yes, the enderpearl should buy me time. Okay, let me mentally prepare myself. I don't want to throw this in a bad place. Uh, let's give this pearl a try. Okay, I've thrown it. Where's the water? Yes, I got the water. Oh, I'm safe. <laughs> Wow, my goodness, that certainly got my heart racing for once, wow. <laughs> I think that might actually be the first close encounter of this world, you know. I didn't lose too many hearts, but Endermen are seriously not to be underestimated. There's a reason why I always used to put my netherite chestplate on in Season 1 when I was about to fight one. And it's because I was always worried that they might just kill me. They are, in my eyes, one of the biggest threats of Hardcore. That case of Enderman is scary. That settles it though. I am definitely going for that Elytra first. Elytra is the best escape ticket you can get in this game. I don't care if it killed me in season one. I need it. Hey there, Shulker. So nice of you to guard my Elytra for me. How thoughtful. Oh, it got me. But would you just look at that. Elytra. Oh, I will be taking that. Yes. Sky's the limit. I can finally fly again. So I'm thinking of rejigging how I normally would have done my hotbar. You see, a newish feature is that you can right click on your chestplate or elytra to equip them from your hotbar. So I'm wondering if it's better to have the chestplate in the hotbar now than to have something like a golden apple. Because that extra bit of protection from a chestplate can tank a ton of damage. And it's so easy to put on now. But how does it look with the new cherry blossom cape? Oh, that's quite nice actually. I like that a lot. Is there anything good in these chests though? Oh nice, we've got some gold. I could always do with more of that. And we've got diamonds too, lovely. Hello sir, please allow me to introduce you to a rather sharp object. Oh good, we got a shulker shell. That should mean we can make our first shulker box. Oh, I've missed these things. It's so good. Um, should I put chorus fruit in here? You know what, I'm going to do what I've done in the past and store 10 chorus fruit in my bundle. You never know. I might get stuck in the bedrock in the future or something stupid like that. And Chorus Fruit will be my saviour. I should probably take this opportunity to craft up some rockets. And of course, how could I ever forget the Dragon Head? I will be taking that too, oh yes. So we've got some brand new wings, and I suggest we give them a try. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I have missed this so much. I can fly wherever I like. <laughs> Wow, it's like reuniting with an old friend. I can't wait to see my world from above. It might be about to get a lot smaller when I do. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. We've got an end city to raid. Hey, Shulker, how's it going? Oh, you've gone. Well, I guess I'd better just introduce myself to your friends then. I'm making sure to always have my sword out for these guys. I'm trying to make use of the looting three effect. I'm hoping I could get a lot more Shulker shells that way. I always like a free ender chest. And what's in here? Oh, that's a lot of gold just there. I'll be taking that. And iron mending leggings? Nice. Maybe I should combine that with my current leggings. I know that this is the last episode that I'm wearing this set of iron armor, but it would still be cool, right? Uh, normally I would just ender pearl straight into that chamber. But when I do that, I'm usually wearing at least a full set of diamond armor. I'm not sure I want to do that this time. Can I shoot these guys with a bow from down here? I think I can still get looting 3 if I put the bow in my offhand and then hold on to my sword at the same time. Let's see if I can get these guys without them getting me in return. Oh, they're angry. I've certainly angered them. Wait, I can chew the bullets, right? Oh yeah, we'll be okay then. This is definitely the way to do it if you're a coward like me today. Ah, no, they got me. Uh, I can't shoot them from here. Fine, I guess I'll go into the chamber now. Oh, I don't like this. There's too many of them. Can you please stop shooting me for five seconds? Anyone? Okay, I'm getting a bit low there. Let's eat a golden apple and pearl to the top. Oh, I've gone through the ceiling. Well, I guess I'm safe from the bullets out here. 
I think it's a lot easier to just snipe these guys from the top, to be honest. What loot have we got, though? Oh, nice. More diamonds. And shovels, too. Oh, that's a really nice shovel. And this other chest has some more gold. Okay, I'll take that. Well, I'd probably say that we've gone through the entire end city at this stage. We got some decent loot and an elytra. But I would like more. Ideally, I'll get an entire suit of diamond armor. That would save me from having to craft it in the next episode. So I guess I've got to find more end cities to raid. Can I see anything if I turn my render distance up? That would be a no. I see literally nothing. I could really do with some more ender pearls though, so we're going to set up a quick little teeny tiny ender ender. This should do. Come on, Enderman. I'm staring at all of your faces. All of your ugly mugs. Come over here and say hi, will you? <laughs> I love doing this. Thank you for bunching up so easily. I'd like your ender pearls now though, please. So, I guess we just pick a direction and fly, right? Oh! We've got two end cities! That's just what I wanted. Awesome! You bet I'm going for that second elytra first. Where did that shulker go? Oh, I think it just killed itself. Okay, we've got some iron, some gold. And our second elytra. Wow, this end city is scuffed. Look at that generation just there. Half of the room has been cut off. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Oh, they've hit me out again. Oh, come on. Have the Shulkers seriously just forced me to eat a second apple? Wow. Iron armor really doesn't do much against these guys. Oh, I think this is that scuffed room as well. You know what? I think I should retreat and come at this from a different angle. This clearly isn't going well for me, and I can't even see where the Shulkers are. <laughs> There's one Shulker. One dead shulker out. Wow, this room doesn't even have a proper floor to it. Okay, I'm going to put my chest plate on. I shouldn't be taking risks like this. Any loot? Oh, there we go. Diamond boots. That's just what I was hoping to see. Oh, it looks like we've actually got another ender city over there too. It's only a small one though. Probably only got like three shulkers and that's it. We'll do that one last. Here we go. End city number three. Okay, we've got some good loot in here too. Oh, wow, look at that. Protection 4 and Mending Diamond chest plate. That's some pretty good gear. <laughs> I'll use that for sure when I upgrade from my iron armor next time. There we go. Another shulker down. Let's see what's in store for us in this chest. Yes, we've got a diamond helmet this time. Fire protection? Eh, that one sucks. But at least we can disenchant and put something else on it back in Cherryville. Ugh, yikes. That chest sucks. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that my helmet was getting low. I'm glad I caught that or I might have broken it. <laughs> I'm lucky that I've been getting plenty of iron today. Otherwise, I might have been tempted to take the helmet off just to stop it from breaking. Ooh, that is expensive. 21 levels is far too much. It'll be worth it to preserve the helmet for historical purposes though. Oh nice. It looks like we've got another diamond chest plate. And we've got diamond leggings in here too. And it's also got protection for and mending. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I've already been able to get the full set of diamond armor for next time. It's time for the fourth and final end city. I'm not going to get too much from here. It is only a tiny one. But I won't say no to the potential of three shulker shells. Three! Or maybe none, if my luck says no, which is always possible. Hello there. Okay, that's one shell. Come on, shulker number two. Give me your shell too, please. Yes! Okay, we've got two or three shells so far. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Ah, no shell. That's a shame. Still though, two out of three ain't bad. So I think I'm going to call it there for end raiding. We got tons of good loot today, so I'm really happy right now. We got some really nice shovels, which will be useful for sand and dirt and stuff. Plenty of gold, plenty of diamonds. I would have had more iron as well if I didn't have to make that anvil. But we even got a full set of diamond armor, which will really come in handy in the next episode when I can finally take off his iron armor. Most importantly though, we've got tons of shulker shells. I've got a stack and 31 shells. And I've already crafted three shulker boxes on top of that too. So that's going to be awesome for storage. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes! I made it. <laughs> oh, that's a trippy view. How have I gotten this close without going through? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, look at that. We spawned in Cherryville this time. Just what I wanted. I knew making that bed was a good decision. First things first, I've got some things to put in the chest of memories. Our first elytra will be going in there, and as such, we're going to name it First Elytra. They're unenchanted, and they've lost quite a bit of durability so far, but I like that. It's like they're our prototype wings or something. And our second pair of wings are going to be the ones we keep. Same thing as the plan for our first shulker box. And also our first dragon head. So we've got access to purple blocks now, and I was wondering... Is this something that would go well with Cherryville? I think it would, yeah. Do I want to use it though? I don't know. Purper can be a real pain to make because you've got to cut chorus fruit to craft it. It would go really well with the copper though. It's got the same grid pattern so I could use it. I've never really used purper either so it could be fun? Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well if I do end up using it I'm going to need to plant some of these chorus flowers. Let's get that chorus farm going. So my main issue with my elytra right now is that it doesn't have mending and unbreaking three. I'm really aware of the fact that they lose durability really easily without those enchantments. I don't have any mending books, but let's see if we can't get unbreaking three at least from the enchanting table for now. Nope, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I'll have to try again. I can't believe that I've already wasted all of those levels that I had earlier in this episode. Luckily, this is one reason why I built the villager trading hall. Villagers really are an excellent source of XP. Okay, let's see how we go this time. Come on, give me Unbreaking 3. Ah, that sucks. At least we got Feather Falling 4 though, that's good at least. I'll have to continue with the books next time I think. We will get Unbreaking 3 on that Elytra. That's a promise. Ah, it's going to be sad to retire this Iron Armor next time. But I'm glad I'm progressing my way through the armor sets like this. I think it will really help to add to the history of the world. And I'm always happy to do something like that. Oh, oops. Why have I put the dragon egg in the loot chest? That deserves to go in the chest of memories. What was I thinking? <laughs> wow, the chest of memories is really starting to fill up now. And I'm only 10 episodes into this series. I might have to make a second one. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.